I am really happy with the way this is turning out. Uh, so the two front towers still haven't been made. And this side is um, a bit empty. Hello, creep. But this side, we have the roof finished on this section here. Then we have these arches up here, which will have windows in them. Then we will have the next roof above here, along this frame here. I uh, built up this a bit as well. This will be windows. And this is not finished. But yeah, this is turning out really well, I think. This is what it looks like from the inside. Next thing to do is to build up this wall here. And then we need to start planning the roof. I have been putting off building the towers. But it needs to be done. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to build the two towers to our cathedral. Uh, I like it when cathedrals have like uh, symmetrical uh, towers, so that is what we're gonna go for. And uh, many cathedrals in real life do not have symmetrical towers. But this one will. Oops. Okay. Is this enough stuff? No, it's not. We're going to need a lot of this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Okay. Since we want both of these towers to be symmetrical, we will build them in one stage at a time. So we'll build one section, then replicate it, then next section, and replicate it, and so on and so forth. I don't want to build the whole thing and then try to replicate it, because then it will not be as fresh in the memory, and that will become a problem. Okay, so let's start by doing this, I think. If we, hmm, how do we do this? Okay. We do something like this. progress. Now we have some more difficult questions, namely this part in the middle. So I'm thinking we place oops, there. Then maybe let's try it like this. Okay. Then we'll just build uh, this up. Okay, let's look at that. How does that look? Yeah, that's nice. And then uh, who we have behind? Uh, I think we'll go 
and bricks and smooth in the center. Okay, there we go. That is that. Those levels. So let's uh, move on to the next. And I think actually I'm going to build myself a little staircase so that I can get up and down these towers easily. We will have a proper staircase in here later, but for now, we'll make it like this. Okay, so for this part, I want to have this. Okay. Good. And we will do that. I think that would be something nice. Okay. Uh, just leave that for now. Go there. Okay. So the inside goes I think we will have one row of these and then one row of these and I think this is the perfect to start to the next section Okay, I really like this up for now, and I'm going to replicate this on the other side. That's what that looks like, and that's the next section completed. Okay, so this is now where the roofs will begin, and there we have it, the exterior. Hey, that's rude. The exterior of our towers completed except for the prismarine. There will be a little bit of prismarine up here, it's hard to see, but there are some holes there in the spires that will be prismarine. So uh, now our cathedral have towers. Let's do this. They ignore the temporary staircase in here. Okay, now you can see like where the prismarine will go. And all of these uh, wall pillars here, they will have a netherrack fence on top and then uh, iron bars on top of that to make them really pointy. All of them. Uh, same goes for like these here, and we will have those all over the place. And it should be a very pointy building, spiky. But uh, yes, this is what we have. And as you can see, the spires do enter, oops, enter the ceiling. And I hadn't planned on that, but I kind of thought it was cool, so I, I did it like that. And uh, from a distance, this is what our cathedral looks like. And this will of course be the wind a window and there will be a roof on here. So I just made a decision that we are going to make a Oh hello. Okay, we're going to make a zombie spawner farm because I need XP and uh I want to have an XP farm very close to our base, and this is very close. Uh, okay, so we have a double spawner here. That I found a long time ago. That's terrifying. Okay, and 
that? Can we? Okay, that's good. Are so good. Sorry, bats. I'm trying not to hit you. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, okay. So, how are we gonna do this? We are going to... That level will be the floor. We're going to funnel both of these towards the center. It will probably be on this. Let's have it actually. Be nice to have it directly here. Oh, that is very close to this. Um, yeah. Okay, so if this was going this way, and this one this way. They are the same height, so that's that's good. I'm sorry. Okay, and uh, okay, let's not have it directly there. But what if we would have it like this, and then this? Okay, so we want four on each side before the wall. So that makes this. We put this here. To be four, then the wall. Oops, that's not the cobblestone. Okay, so where these two meet is where it will be. Okay, that's that's the hole they will drop into. Okay, so now I'm just gonna dig this all up. I should probably show what we get uh, so far. Nothing too interesting. Projectile protection. I'm breaking through it. It's very good. That one is a good one. This is just garbage. Okay, and others. Yeah, garbage. And more garbage. No, name tags. That's definitely not garbage. And it's just over there. And now we get to use our machinery uh, it should be this one yeah so all our stuff will just the stuff that we don't need we'll just throw in here okay that will bring it up to our storage room and I'll show you how close this is to our tunnel here we are no damn it okay let's see if we can get our stuff before they despawn we need a pickaxe and a slab uh, slab uh, pickaxe fortune whatever doesn't matter here let's go there. The farm is almost finished, but well, as you saw I died. So, okay. We're actually fine. Uh, we didn't particularly need... Oh. 
the uh, slab there, but that would prevent zombies. No, that, okay, that I did not think that through. Okay, this is bad. Baby zombies. I did not think about baby zombies. How did I forget those? Um, a simple solution for now. Okay. Okay. Well, one of them is activated. This one, I was trying to activate, but I died. Okay. I updated our mine with lanterns, which I was going to do when 1.14 came out, but it took me this long, but that looks pretty cool, I think. A bit different from the torches we're so used to. And uh, this uh, tunnel here leads to our farm, and I put ice beneath here. And it's completely dark because I wanted to have these encased in glass so that we can see all of the zombies spawn and, and come in and they drop down here and we can kill them the items get put in there we have a full enchanting station we have a grinding stone and anvil and materials and stuff and here is our output. It's hard to read, probably even harder on the video, but it's fine. I can see what it says. So. And this is just our work picks. These are the ones that are too expensive to repair. It's like 35 levels and higher to repair these ones. So, yeah. And fortune, self touch, and our other tools here. Then over here we have. Locations for all the armor types, two boxes for miscellaneous like potatoes and stuff, and then we have this whole row for rock fish. Then we can, of course, extend with more chests up there later if we need to. But, uh, and these here will be um, dedicated to uh, enchanted books later. And uh, Basically, this whole room is in range of both the... Oh, <laughs> they're standing on top of it. It, uh, yeah. Hmm. Hopefully they fall down eventually. Okay, but... Uh, no matter where we are basically in this room, both of those will both the spawners will be on, so that's why I build all the important stuff as close to them here as possible can in the center. Uh, so we can just hang out in this room. No mobs can spawn here because this is all hot slabs and it's and zombies will spawn in there and we'll be fine. That is a bit concerning, we could Put a bit of a block on top of it to prevent that from happening. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of zombies. They're dying from uh, being too many. Uh... Also, a quick note: zombies give the same amount of XP as skeletons and while uh, baby zombies actually give a lot more XP the zombies give 5 skeletons 2 plus 1, 2, 3 depending on their equipment I believe and uh, baby zombies give 12 so overall a zombie spawner should give more XP than a skeleton spawner and we have two zombie spawners so it should be more efficient than our previous one is what I'm trying to say. Another very quick note is that uh, we don't get anything really useful from zombies we did get the bones from the skeletons which is why we went for that one first 
but uh, then the composters were introduced and we have more bone mill than we'll ever need basically by now so we don't uh, need to use the skeleton farm for that reason anymore. There was a feature of uh, 1.14 that I completely missed and that was the fact that the bamboo can be used as a fuel. So I built up some farms over here that should uh, give us bamboo to get sent over through these pipes or oh, this pipe singular in here and it goes down into the kelper it's currently turned off here so it's not taking fuel from this box into there but uh, yeah it's, I, I want it to stock up and then I'll turn it on so we're using an, an automatic bamboo farm to smelt our kelp to make dried kelp which we'll use as fuel for our big smelter here and the overflow if this ever fills up will get into these chests which will fill up these furnaces for just yes oh, I also have forgotten to put the item frame there back there we go we have the two towers completed we have the roofs all put in we have all these finials and stuff spikes everywhere there are a few things left to do of course all the glass there is no glass put in yet so that needs to be done I also realized that I I miss doing this one but I'll go back and do that okay and in the center or inside rather we need to put oh there's supposed to be logs covering that so that needs to be done there's also going to be oak uh, cross beams and stuff here and uh, same in here we need to put in all the floors of course they're going to be stone uh, in like patterns and then the interior decoration which shouldn't be too much since it's such an open building but I think that's about it I should quickly show the interior of the towers I put in some wooden stairs one on each side they just lead up here that's it the roofs or oh, ceilings sorry have been finished we have I decided to go for a stone vaulted ceiling in the center that made a lot more sense I don't know what I was thinking so that is there we have the wooden uh, supports here on both sides can't really see this one because well reasons we'll go look at it oh I put in this entrance here and yeah this is what it looks like here and we will have a way to get up there and there's kind of a balcony where you can look into the cathedral itself so if we go up here you can see yeah that's what we have I thought I'd quickly talk about a book a book called very simply medieval architecture this have been my go-to book for building this structure and uh, because this book specifically is uh, talking about the uh, I shall read from the back uh, a great variety of buildings testifies to the diverse communities and interests in Western Europe in the centuries between 1150 and 1550 so uh, late medieval period um, kind of high, uh, part of high medieval to late medieval and it talks have a lot on gothic architecture 
which uh, is uh, what we're going for here. So uh, kinda think late medieval cathedrals. So this has been a great help. This is just one of uh, several books I have that mention Gothic architecture, and I have some books on uh, Gothic revival as well. But uh, this one have been my go-to for this specific build, as it have a lot of pictures of Gothic cathedrals. And I shall quickly mention that uh, this one is written by Nicola Coldstream. I, there's another book and it's published by Oxford University Press uh, I have another one called just early medieval architecture which kind of touches on Romanesque architecture so kind of uh, the, the style before Gothic and that's also a very good book uh, I would highly recommend this uh, on in the Oxford History of Art series very good some quick interior progress we have a lot of lights we have floor and we have some uh, what do you call them like benches but something else I don't know the English word doesn't matter and here we have uh, a little statue thingy because this cathedral is a church to the spider god crawl because that's the god that is worshipped by the people of this city crawl the spider god so there's a little spidery statue i tried my best with a scale it doesn't matter if it's not looking too much like a spider because it's just a shrine thingy okay And then, hey zombie, over here we have another interior, there's staircase up here, and uh, that is what we have. This was long overdue, but I added some uh, campfires to this old smoldering guard tower here. There we go, it is finished, finally. Okay. So here the interior, I put in this big organ here, using the looms for the keys, turn out pretty nice I think. All the windows are in. I did the garden. Or I did this side of the garden because I'm not entirely sure how what shape the palace here will have so I'm leaving this part empty for now but uh, this is a sign I put in some dead trees too and here we have a bit of a pond and that is that let's fly a bit Okay, and this is our cathedral. It turned out pretty nice, I think. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.